Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire. Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me again. And this video is about Young Diz. He hasn't released any new music or anything. He ain't been released from prison. As most people will be aware, he's serving a 12 year sentence. He was going to do about six years for kidnap, torture and GBH as well. And I covered the initial story as well and I've followed it up as uh, I've done about two three videos about young Dizzy's situation his legal situation BBC one have got a new series out called the Met Police and it goes behind the scenes investigating the actual cases that are going on nowadays and young Diz was featured in it as well I actually wanted to watch the whole thing before I reacted and broke it down and explained it as well it featured about two weeks ago it should still be available on iPlayer as well but the general gist of it is is, is the police was doing surveillance on him they were starting to get to know all about young Diz and through the area through stuff that was going on through beefs that was happening as well they put surveillance people all over him those following him all over Beckton and I had a lot of people inboxing me saying young Diz is on the BBC and they're accusing him of being a groomer they keep calling him a groomer and I was quite surprised when I actually heard the way that people were surprised by this but in reality of course that is what the police will look at it as if you are over 16 years old and you are talking to younger children and then getting them involved in crime that the police allege that he did then of course legally it will be classed as a form of grooming it's not sexual grooming it's a different type of grooming but that is the way they're looking at it now all these county line gangs that are using young children uh, that is how the police are going to be treating them in the in the future investigations around isaac donker so we know he's very active in terms of uh, rap videos and snapchat and it was really interesting to see the way that the police went so hard on him with this sort of evidence but after the person that he tortured had written a statement to the police and then it emerged that there was also video evidence. They played the video evidence from young Dizzy's phone where he's in a room and which was meant to have been posted to Snapchat and he's telling the kid to look at him properly so we can hit him, etc. So it puts him in the place with the person at the time. So it was really difficult for him to have been able to get out of that situation. They really did have a lot of evidence on him. Bring your face here. Yeah, big man. Bring your face here. Right here. Right here, right here. Yeah, yeah. And another thing that they used, which was interesting to see, because I've never seen a program where they've showed us that they do, the police do listen to the music. They're watching the music, they're listening to the message, and how they can potentially use it against you in a court of law as well. They brought up songs like Drill and Repent and referenced them in regards to him saying that he was kidnapped gang and he beat your door, etc, etc. And the police even said to him in an interview, your name is Young Diz. As he also said in the recent song that he did the cartoon animated song when he was explaining the case that i also reacted to as well and as the police go on to say later on in the program about the war in newham and how it was getting so out of control they needed to take these individuals off the street and several teenagers were also arrested with young Diz in this case were also sentenced in relation to it so i'm not sure when young Diz will not be getting spoken about in some regard he's either on tv he's either on youtube or he's somewhere he's been locked up for several months so he's always been spoken about which goes to show the seriousness of the case that he was involved in and also how well known he is as well because as they said they believe he was using the fact of being a drill rapper that impressed children and then by buying them sort of fancy clothes or giving them weed and stuff like that that eventually it would gain their trust and then they would be willing to do things for him and that was the sort of argument they used against him in that program a really interesting program to watch i'd recommend you go and see it as well because especially when it talks about the lyrics the way that they can try and use them against you so obviously always try and remember to speak reflectively and, and not to try and talk too present tense or explain crimes that have been committed on that basis that the police may be watching so I really do appreciate you joining me today please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and there'll be plenty Plenty more news on the way. Thank you, peace. We have to throw everything at it to remove these really ghastly individuals who sit at the centre of these gangs. And if we can take them off the streets for, you know, six to eight years, that, that is what we'll do.